Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out You Said You Can Draw. This is a game for four to eight players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is roughly 60 minutes. This is a game that will be seeking funding on the Kickstarter process sometime mid-May. Um, I am recording this in April, so dates are subject to change. Um, it's also worth mentioning that, you know, because the game is seeking funding on Kickstarter, this may be a prototype copy, but I gotta say, this is one of the best prototype copies I've ever seen. Um, it's good quality, so if actual people get this particular copy having supported the Kickstarter, then I think they'll be very happy. But there may be stretch goals or whatever that they may get something that I'm not showing here. So, what is You Said You Could Draw? Well, this is a, well, it's a social drawing game similar to that of, say, Say Anything. Um, in this game, um, players will take turns as an artist, and they'll be trying to draw something blindfolded, okay? And then the other players have to try and guess what the artist drew, and then players will earn points based off of whatever. So here's a quick look at the components. You've got a box here with some dry erase markers, some dry erase boards. I put out a few down here. Um, the game comes with roughly 100 cards, just to show you they are double-sided, and each, each side here has six different uh, words or words on it. So like one here is black eye. This is globe, whipped cream, Indian, Peter Pan, Abraham Lincoln. Starred words are more expensive or not more expensive, but they are they are more difficult to draw, but they give players more points um, should they draw them successfully. Okay. So you've got these cards here. You've got a six-sided die that is associated with this here. Um, and then you've got these, again, dry erase. There's a larger dry erase board here for the artist. There's a scoreboard over here. First player to reach 20 points wins the game. So there's that. And yes, you can earn points outside of your turn as well. Here's a quick look at the rule book. Well, it's more of a card, really. It's like two pages, roughly. This is like fluff, and this is fluff. So there's that. All right, so how does the game typically play? Well, um... What you're going to do is first you're going to determine a starting artist by rolling the die, and whoever has the highest die roll wins. Um, and the artist on their turn will draw a card from the deck. Let's just do... Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to try and do... I'm, I'm a terrible drawer, by the way, so I'm trying to pick something. Okay, let's do this one. Let's say that I, uh, as the artist, I drew this card, and I'm looking at it. Um, again, I can, I, can, I can roll this die... And whatever is rolled is what I have to draw. Now, I'm going to pretend like I didn't roll a one because I don't want to try drawing lipstick. I, it just wouldn't end well. Um, and I'm trying to keep this as family friendly as possible. Crossword puzzle. Let's just say that I happen to roll a six for crossword puzzle. Okay? So, um, as the artist, I would put the blindfold on and then I would then secretly, no one else can see me do this, I'd be trying to draw this blindfolded. Now, I don't have a blindfold on, but, um, you know, I, I, I can't imagine what this would look like, even if I did. So, I might do something like this blindfolded, and then when I'm done, it looks more like a dog. <laughs> I, I told you I can't draw. Um, so, once the artist is uh, done, they are going to secretly, on their own board, everyone gets one of these little boards, they're going to write the name of a person, I'm just going to call this person Blue. Uh, but they would typically write the person's name on there. This is the person that they would predict is going to guess this correctly. So, and if they do, they get bonus points. So, now they're going to reveal their art, and now everyone else in secret is going to try and guess. So, Orange might go, that looks like a dog to me. Um, and then Yellow might go, oh, that looks like some kind of, I don't know, is that a, a, a machine gun? Uh, I'm just going to say a chair. It looks like a chair. Okay. And then Blue might go, well, the number's there. Maybe that's a crossword puzzle, so I'll just put CP for the sake of the video. All right. So once everyone is done guessing as to what this is, um, players will earn points appropriately. Okay, And there is a list of ways that players will earn points down here. For example, one point for the artist if at least one player guessed correctly. One point bonus for the artist if they if secretly selected the player who guessed correctly. So meaning um, the, player, the artist here guessed that blue 
would guess this correctly, and they did, so they would get a bonus point for that. And then other players who guessed correctly would get a point, uh, three points, the star-marked word. We didn't choose the star-marked word this time, but um, if the star-marked word were chosen, they would get some points there. Minus two points if all players but one guessed correctly. There's also um, varying difficulties that you can introduce to the game. So, for example, on the easy mode, after the artist finishes, he can give the first letter of the word as a clue, and you can also tell players if it is one or two words. Um, on medium, you're going to alternate clues per round, so like a round is one full turn of people drawing, and then on the, on the alternate round, that's when you can give a first letter clue, and then on the following round, you can't give any clues, then the next round, you can give a first letter clue, and so on. Hard is just no clues whatsoever. Younger players can choose any of the words without having to rule a die. All right, so this game is variable in terms of difficulty. Um, I don't want to get too much further into that because, like I said, this particular video is a you know Kickstarter preview kind of thing. I do have a written preview out there that goes into my thoughts in more detail. This video is more of a uh, visual overview, if you will. Um, if you want more information, go check out my written preview, link below in the description, and you can go to www.thadsgamingaddiction.com. When this particular campaign does launch, I'll also have a link to that in the below description. You can check that out as well. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.